So there's a little trick that makes color grading iPhone footage way easier and the trick to get better results are in the settings of your camera app. So if you got an iPhone 12 or newer, go to your camera settings and turn on HDR video. So when this feature is activated, you're shooting in 10 bit and that's way better for color grading because you got way more color details. But if you got an iPhone that's older than the iPhone 12, just go to the app store and download the moment camera app then go to the settings and change the bitrate to high and choose the flat picture profile. And now you're ready to shoot some cinematic footage with your iPhone. Okay, so now we're in DaVinci Resolve and now I will show you how to color grade the iPhone footage. And as you can see, I've got some 8-bit and 10-bit footage. The 10-bit footage is of course from the internal camera app and the 8-bit footage is from the moment camera app. So first we will start with the 10-bit footage because it's the most complicated footage. For that we make two nodes, go to the effects tab and add the color space transform. And for input color space we choose Rec 2020. And for input gamma, we choose Rec 21 HLG. And for output, we both choose Rec 709. That's a converted footage. In my opinion, it looks way too bright. So we might want to make some exposure adjustments. So I made a note before the last note. And I'm going to use the curves. We just pull it down a little bit. And now we can copy this grade and paste it on all the 10 bit footage. And as you can see now, everything is converted to Rec 709. So for color grading, we will use a different technique this time. I'm adding an adjustment clip on top of all the 8-bit footage. And now I make three nodes. This one's for primaries. This one is for the log wheels. And the last one is for hue adjustments for the hue curves. And I think let's start with the hue curves. Made a few points and now we boost the blue a little bit. And the yellow. And then we go to the hue versus hue curves. By the way, I tried to make a little bit of a teal and orange look. So we lift the blue, pull down the teal a little bit, and now we can pull up the blue even more. And we go to the green. And now we need to we need to look what we want want to do. If you want to lift it, or if we want to have the green even more green. And I think I make the greens a little bit more warm. So I even lift the yellow. That's too strong. Yeah, that's way too strong. So we pull it back a little bit. Make a point here so that we don't affect the skin tones. It's very important when you color grading because you don't want to affect the skin tones in a negative way. They should be as natural as possible. So be careful of that. And now we go to the primary node and pull down the lift and push up the gamma. So we're making a teal and orange look with that. Maybe a little bit stronger. Now I will look at my parade and go to the lock node and we will correct the black point because as you can see it's pretty lifted and blue. So we're gonna correct that. And now we choose the low range a little bit so that we don't affect too much with our lock adjustment. And now I make a new node, call it adjustment. We could even call it contrast because I want to make an S curve because in my opinion it's not contrasty enough. And I saw here that we're clipping the red, so we will add some low softness. So that we don't have that much of a clipping there. That's too much contrast in this case, so we pull it back even more. Now we go back to the log wheels and go back with this adjustment. And go back to the hue node. It's a little bit of a push and pull action. Sometimes you're not happy with the look and then you might want to make some adjustments. In this case, I'm not too happy with this look. So I pull down the green instead of pushing it up. That looks better, but we're gonna... Ah, okay, that's making a huge difference because I wasn't happy with the greens right here. Or um, more of a teal look was that. And we go back to the adjustments play around with the S curve a little bit so that I'm happy with the results. Now back to the log wheels again and maybe reset the low range. Now that looks pretty good in my opinion. So that's before we started color grading at all, before any correction. That's just with the Rec. 7 and I conversion and, and our exposure adjustment. That's the color grading. And now we take a look at the 8-bit footage and that looks pretty good straight out of camera in my opinion. But it could use some contrast and of course our color grading. So we go to our clip 
make two nodes, one for balance and the other one for contrast. And now we push up the contrast. That looks pretty good before and after. And now I copy this and paste it on everything. That's 8-bit. In this case, I want to increase the saturation a bit to about 60 and make some white balance adjustments because it's a little bit too cool in my opinion. You can see the ground here is a little bit of blue, so it could use some worn. Now we're gonna make this adjustment. Now I paste this grade on everything here. Okay, too strong in this case. So we pull it back a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, too strong in this case. So we pull it back to our adjustment clip from the 10-bit footage. We just pull it over this and, and let's take a look if it's too strong. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit too saturated, but I just cut it here. And then we make our own adjustments to this specific part of the adjustment clip. So maybe more of an S-curve. And then we go back with the lift gamma and gain so it's not as blue and now it has a little bit of a warm look but still in tear and orange look and to the hue curves and now i go down with the green saturation and now that looks pretty good now i'm happy with the results that looks pretty good in my opinion So that's it with this video, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.